Oh. Okay, now it's recording. <laughs> and now sure? I need your permission to upload it, just so I can use it. Yes, you may. Great. Okay, question number one. What is your high score on Flappy Birds? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, question number one. <laughs> 18. Great. <laughs> okay, real question. Did you ever have a fear of camera presence? And if so, how did you get over it? Not really. Um, ever since I was little, I'm not saying that I was like filmed or anything, but I've just always been, I've just haven't really been afraid of like, haven't been camera shy or any kind of shyness at all. Because I've been in the music um, show this, not really this, but since I was little. So I've never had like um, stage fright or anything like that, and I've always been comfortable. Great. What is your best advice to give for maximizing views on YouTube? Well, the best advice, I mean, because I'm not saying I get a lot of views, not really, but it's not giving up because we all start from, from nothing. And uh, the best advice I can give it, I mean, anyone is to not give up and just keep on trying because eventually, if you keep on trying, you'll, you'll make it. I'm not there yet, but hopefully I'll, someday I will. Most likely. <laughs> How do you hopefully. recommend promoting your channel? Pardon me? How do you recommend promoting your channel? Um. Well, there's two ways that I do it. Um, obviously, the first one is you know, if people don't know about you now, then they definitely should, because you know it's the way. I mean, I wouldn't be on on YouTube, and people wouldn't really know me on YouTube or anything if it wasn't for you now. And then the other thing is letting all your friends know, and let it, I mean, telling them to tell their friends, to tell their friends, to tell their friends. So, so eventually, that's how you grow a community of, of a fan base and friends and everything they get to know you get they get to they get to know your videos your channel and everything it's just ask i mean making the content and asking for people to watch it and if they like it share it great how do you make a good quality video do you like write a script or write down ideas mm, depends on what kind of videos i do um like, as you know, I mean, I do music covers, I do vlogs every now and then, like, not really, I, I don't really do sketches, I want to, I'm going to actually start to, um, very soon, but not yet, but for, like, vlogs that, like, comedy vlogs, I will usually, yes, I will think about everything, and I will write, um, like, a little script before for everything, like, oh, okay, I want to, I want to talk about this, and I want to talk about that, and, on when while I'm filming, I will go over and over like, oh, okay, that didn't sound right. I'm just gonna say it again, and I'll just choose the be the um, the best clip and everything once I'm on the editing process. Um, but definitely just yes, I do kind of script um for that for my vlogs, for daily vlogs. I don't really because it's just me and my my daily life. Okay, question number six. Who or what inspired you to start vlogging? Do you have like any favorite YouTubers or anything? Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, my favorite YouTuber, and he actually does a lot of the things that I do, and um, is Shane Dawson. Um, I've been watching Shane Dawson since 2007. He started in 2006 or 2005, I think, just basically when YouTube started. But I've been watching him basically from the start almost. And he's definitely inspired me because I love his, I mean, I love his personality. I love his videos. I love his music videos. I love everything he does. And I just, it, he's such a cool guy to be around. And you can tell by the, um, by his daily vlogs, just all the crazy things he says and everything. And definitely he's my main inspiration. And I'm not trying to be like him, but I just, I mean, I like a little bit of Shane Dawson spice in my videos every now and then because I feel like it's, it's a good thing. I mean, he's famous for a reason. And, and I love him. He's definitely my inspiration. Me too. I love seeing Dawson. <laughs> Yay. 
Okay, number seven. Are there are camera angles and lighting and backgrounds all like important factors when you're filming? If you want to make a good video, of course. <laughs> and if you don't want to, make, if you want to uh, make a bad video, then yes, you should still have everything because I mean, you know, I mean, you never know when when a good video is gonna go out there. So you definitely want to make sure that if you're making a good video that people can watch your face, people can watch everything you're doing. So you definitely, I mean, um, I'm not saying go out there and get crazy on buying all this lighting equipment and the best camera and everything. I mean, the best videos in the world have just been filmed with like a, a freaking flip camera or something or a phone or something. So you don't really need the best production, I mean, quality the production equipment, but it definitely, if you want to make something a good quality, yes, and it's it's important to have good audio, good lighting, good um, just good equipment all around. It's not needed, but I think the content is a lot more important than than the means to get it. But sure, why not? I mean, good equipment is also great. It's always great. It's just nice to work around and it's more comfortable. Okay, great. Number eight, how do you react to negative comments on your channel, or have you ever had this problem? Yeah, <laughs> I actually have a, some people have already found it, but I have a, an old account, an old, old YouTube channel that I, I'm still out there, but I don't even really use it. It's actually called Stefano Punk Skate. That was when I was like, I don't know, 16, 15, and my first video was in like 2006 or 2007. And I just have like music covers in there, and uh, some of my covers back then they were really bad. Like even I admit it. And a lot of people were like, mm, "You kind of suck. You should just kill yourself." I'm like, oh, "I don't really care." I mean, I've I've always been um, when it comes to bullying and stuff like that towards me. Like, I don't. I've never really cared about what other people have to say about me or have to say about the things that I do. I mean, I just I just even if it sucks, I love doing it because music is my life. And doing the stuff that I mean, the stuff that I do, I really love it. So. I, I'm proud of it, and I don't really let people bring me down because I'm proud of it. Yeah, I especially like your new covers. I know I don't haven't seen the older ones, but I really like your new stuff. Yeah, I don't watch them. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch them. <laughs> okay. No, it's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's more coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number nine. Do you recommend making themed videos, or do you think random or funny videos are better, or just make both? Um, originality is always great. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, it's it's always cool to see like, oh, that's I've never seen this. It's it's always great. I mean, to get that feeling when you watch something. But I also love watching different versions of a a themed or something from different people, from different things, different scenarios, different situations out so it's great to have like a nice mix of everything like something that you think it's original and then something like oh the cinema challenge who, is it? who hasn't done the cinema challenge but it's still fun to watch it <laughs> and and then still being original is always great I mean we all want to be ourselves when it comes out there because like a lot of people have said you can always be the best of you instead of trying to be the best somebody else because why would I want to be like oh I want to be like Shane Dawson when I can be the best Steph and stuff like that so it's always great to be original but you can always mix it up awesome <laughs> okay last question do you have any ideas for a beginner video like I know I should do an introduction but should, is there any place else you recommend I like go from there Well, if you're gonna take YouTube as a like, not really a career, because I mean, to have a career in YouTube, you have to be famous. But I mean, if you wanna make YouTube at least a very passionate hobby, then yes, you should introduce yourself. I actually did that for my YouTube channel. I mean, I already have a few videos, but I deleted them. So my first like main video was a uh, my I actually named it my first vlog, and it was me introducing myself, talking about me, talking where I come from, you know, and uh. And that was, that had a script like I wrote on, on my on my phone and you know the there's a notes app 
that you can like write stuff. So I was like, okay. I was like, hey, what's up, guys? My name is Dad. Blah 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 blah. And I like I basically didn't write everything, but like I wrote a lot of ideas. Like, hey, I wanna um, when I'm editing, I wanna make this explosion and blah blah blah. And when I say this, blah blah. blah. So I mean, I kind of do script a little bit, but. Always yes. If you want to take YouTube like as a hobby or make start making YouTube videos, yes. Introduce your introduce yourself. Like tell the people who are you, and uh, what you're up to. Because I mean, there's so many things that you can do on YouTube. You can do comedy. You can do music. You can do art. You can do geez, it's just name it. You can do it. I mean, that's that's the fun thing about YouTube. It's there's no boundaries. There's no limits for everything, for anything. You can just do whatever you want, except for porn. But um, <laughs> not working on that. I'm okay, that's awesome. That's all the questions that I have, and thanks again for doing this. That's really awesome. You're very welcome. Thank you for interviewing me, I guess. And thank you for your videos on YouTube, too, because I love your videos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you.